what are the two best type of aerobic workouts you should be doing? Hello everybody, hey, this is Mike Cola coming to you from Mike Cola Fitness. And in this video, I wanna talk about what I consider to be the two best aerobic workouts that everyone really should be doing. And the first is actually the long, easy aerobic workout. This is a workout that I think is really neglected by mostly fitness enthusiasts who really feel like they have to kill themselves and work so hard with these long, tedious aerobic workouts. In my opinion, these long, tedious, hard aerobic workouts where you're pretty much 85, 90, 95% of your max heart rate, the entire workout, 45, an hour, you know, an hour and 15 minutes long. In my opinion, those work workouts are very toxic. You can create a response, meaning that you can increase your aerobic, you know, your VO2 max. You know, your VO2 max is just, is just is a, is a measure of how aerobically fit you are. It's pretty much your maximal oxygen consumption. When you're very, very aerobically fit, your VO2 max is high. It's high for your genetic potential. Like your, your VO2 max, it can only go so high, but when you're really aerobically fit, it can be as high as it possibly can be. And you can achieve that with my other favorite type of a workout, which would be a short, hard aerobic workout. But I really want to explain to you why I think this long, easy aerobic workout is so important. You really need to create an aerobic base, a base of long, consistent aerobic activity. For example, like taking a walk for 90 minutes. First of all, walking, in my opinion, pretty much cures everything. You got a headache, go take a walk. You know, you're in a bad mood, go walk for 90 minutes, okay? So, something's bothering you, your back hurts, go walk for 90 minutes. I guarantee in an hour and a half later, your back's gonna feel good, your headache's gonna be gone, and you're gonna be in a much better mood. <laughs> so besides the aerobic benefits of, of long, easy, there's definitely other benefits to the body. It's like meditating when you're moving. But just on, a, on, on, a, on an aerobic standpoint, it's really important to work that aerobic system, you know, where your heart rate does not go too high. Say you're at the very low end of your target heart rate. You know, 60, 65% of your max rate, even lower for extended periods of time is something you really have to incorporate into your fitness routine. I know some people, I mean, when I was young, it was hard for me to feel like I got a workout out of just walking an hour and a half. Now that I'm older, I really appreciate the importance of taking a two-hour walk. I pretty much walk two hours, I would say about twice a week on average. It's probably my favorite thing to do. You know, I really feel so much benefit from, from it. And it's really, I feel, made me a lot healthier person. Okay, like for example, I used to feel like I just didn't get that buzz. You know, it, unless I killed myself for so many years, I feel like I overtrained all of my 20s and all of my 30s and even my early 40s. I feel like if I didn't like kill myself and push myself super hard for an hour or longer, I feel like I wasn't getting anything done. And now that I realize that I'm older, that there's so much benefit to creating that long, easy aerobic base, start doing it, believe me, it, it'll, you'll reap so many benefits from it. But then you also obviously want to increase your VO2 max, right? You want to be as aerobically fit as you possibly can. And you can achieve that by doing short, hard, interval workouts, right? The mistake that I think so many people make is that it can't be long, hard, interval workouts. It can't be an hour long, like doing, you know, 30 one-minute intervals brutally hard. I mean, you reach a point of diminished return after seven or eight of those intervals. You do seven or eight hard, all-out, one-minute intervals, you've really, you, you've created a response. You've already maxed out how aerobically fit you can get from that workout. Uh, just by doing more and more and more of them, you're creating a state of toxicity in your body. Like literally, I mean, in some instances, if you went to a, a, an emergency room and they took your blood work and, and, and they may think you had a heart attack and there's so much broken down, you know, broken down chemicals in, in, in your blood from such a toxic workout, such a long, hard workout. So the small way to do aerobics is to do those short, interval type workouts like for example a 20 minute interval workout in my opinion is all you need you warm up for two three minutes you do like a really hard say 30 seconds go easy for a minute you do a hard minute go easy for a minute you do six or seven hard minutes seven eight hard minutes that's all you need to max out your vo2 max and to be aerobically fit as possible 
and then you spend the rest of your time doing those long, easy aerobic workouts. And you have to learn to enjoy these long, easy aerobic workouts. You'll eventually get that same feeling from doing a long, hard workout once you get used to it. Once you know that you're getting all the benefit of doing of cardiovascular fitness from doing those short interval type workouts and then you're filling in the gap of doing that long aerobic base type training, you'll feel much better about doing those hour, 90 minute, easy, long aerobic workouts. Okay. If you have any questions about this, you know, drop me an email, you know, leave some comments and I'm going to be posting this on YouTube. Leave some comments on YouTube. You can debate it with me if you like. But really, start thinking along the lines. I mean, these long, hard aerobic workouts are really toxic. They age you. They, it, I'm telling you, it's not a good thing to do. Okay? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up on YouTube. If I post it on Facebook, you know, give me a like on Facebook. And I always end these videos by saying, if you live in Westchester, New York, and you're looking for a great gym to train in, you know, my name is Mike Cola. You know, I, I own my gym for over 25 years. It's called Mike Cola Fitness. I, right now, I'm in Mount Kisco, New York. Um, look me up if you're looking for a great place to work at. Take care. Hope to hear from you soon.